Yo, what the hell's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 17 and in this video we're going to take a look at for loops. <laughs> Alright then gang, so in the last lesson I introduced loops to you, more specifically this while loop right here. And in generic terms, a loop is meant to repeat certain parts of code for you so that you don't have to keep on repeating yourself in the code itself like down here multiple times, okay? So a loop will check a certain condition for you and while that condition is true, it will keep on repeating the code for you. So that's the whole idea of loops. Now in the last lesson we took a look at this while loop and that did exactly that and for it to work we needed these three components we needed first of all this variable here where we initialized a number because it's this variable that we're checking right here in the condition okay now in terms of loops this variable is commonly referred to as the index variable and that's because it goes up and up each time around so that's the first thing we needed the index variable the second thing we needed was this condition right here because while this is true is the time where we're going to repeat this code here and the third thing we needed was this age incrementer right here. So we've added one to it each time the loop goes around. Now, if we didn't have this, remember, we'd get caught in an infinite loop. And that's because age would never change. It's never increasing. So it's always going to be less than 10. This is always going to be true. And this is always going to execute over and over and over and over. That's going to crash your computer. Not a good thing. So we definitely need that third component in right there where we add one to the variable each time around okay so there's those three components to a loop and in the while loop this is generally how we set it out we'd have the variable up here above the loop the condition within the brackets and then within the code at the end we'd have that incrementer now there's an easier way to do this which i prefer and that's called a for loop where we specify all three components within the brackets themselves so all we need to do for that is get rid of this while keyword and replace it with war, uh, for, not war. <laughs> get rid of that condition there, get rid of the incrementer there, and get rid of the variable up here. Now we're going to put all of those three things within the brackets themselves. So the first thing we need to do is put our variable, our index variable, and we're going to set that equal to 5 to begin with. Now we don't need the var keyword here because this is just a variable locally for this for loop. We can skip that and just put the variable name and the initial value. At the end we just put our semicolon and then we can put our second component which is the condition. And remember we said that it was for age less than 10. So same as the while loop we're saying that while this is true we're going to continue doing this loop. All right. And the third thing we need is the incrementer so we'll say age plus plus and at the end of here we don't need that semicolon because that's the last one. That's the last component. So Again, we've got our index variable initialized, our condition, and then our incrementer at the end. All right, so this is exactly the same as the while loop that we did, but just a little neater and easier on the eye, in my opinion. So let's just save that and make sure it does the, uh, the same thing here. We need this to print out five times. And yep, exactly the same. Prints out five times, and then it says here, you are now over 10. All right, so this is the same as the while loop, but just a different way of writing it. Now, commonly, when you're doing a for loop, we wouldn't start at five, we'd start at something like one. Okay, that's a, a more logical place to start. Or even zero, we can have it index based. It's up to you. Now, what we would do is maybe loop through a page and find all the links, and for each link, we'd apply some kind of style or some kind of uh, code that we want to execute. So I'll do that example right now. Now you might have noticed in this window here, I've added six links to the HTML page, which is here. So just six simple A tags. And what we're gonna do is loop through the for loop and we're gonna get each one of these tags. So let's go back over to this JavaScript file. Now don't worry about the next bit of code I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk about this later. For now, just uh, pay attention to the for loop, okay? So, I'm going to get all the links, store them in a variable, and to do that, I'm going to use the document.get elements by tag name, which is right here, and then specify that we want all the a tags and put a semicolon right at the end. That's the end of the statement. So, they're the links. Now, instead of age less than 10, I want to say, first of all, I'm going to set this to i, just a, a generic variable name it doesn't need to be age and then I'm going to set this to I less than links dot length 
And that right there is getting all of these links, okay, each one of those tags in the index, and the dot length method on here is going to return a number for me, and that's going to return the number of links on the page. So this is grabbing all the links, then this dot length is counting those links and giving me a number. Now there's six of those links, so this would be the same as putting six here. But because there could be seven, there could be eight, I could add links in the future, we don't want to set this to six because when it changes, we want it always to update to the current number of links. So we'll save that. Oh, we'll uh, change this to i because that's our initializer variable there. And we'd uh, generally use i or j or x or something like that because it's just a standard name, okay? Now, let's save this and in fact, we'll do something different. We'll console.log the, uh, let's, let's think, this, oops, this is link number and then we'll do plus i and we'll change the initializer to one because that's where it's starting. So what we're saying is every time we go around, this is link number one because that's what i will be. Then the next time around, this is link number two, etc., etc. We'll get rid of this. In fact, no, we'll just change this to all links now looped. All right, so let's refresh this over here. And now you can see this is link number one, this is link number two, number three, number four, number five. And when it gets to link number six, it's no longer less than links.length. So it breaks out of the loop and it says all links now looped. It didn't include this because six is not less than six. But if we say less than or equal to, then that should solve it. Refresh. Yep. Now we've looped link number six as well. All right, so I hope that all makes sense. Again, don't worry about this bit here. I'm gonna cover this later. I just wanted to show you how to use a for loop, and how we can specify all these different uh, components that we need for loops within one place there. I prefer this to a while loop. It did kind of baffle me at first, but once you've done it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, I just suggest practicing, and if you have any questions, obviously just uh, comment down below. I'll answer all of those. If you enjoy these videos, please like, share, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.